Hello my fellow students, welcome to study party. We are back again with a GCSE maths lesson that we're going to be focusing on percentages. Because in our last lesson, we were able to focus on how we are going to approach to a scientific notation or also known as standard notation. Yeah. And in this one, we will be looking at how to do percentages. And you know, percentages is a topic that will come up with a lot in numbers, numbers theories and so on. And then we will look into our percentages at the moment. And what is a percentage? Okay, let's just write it together. A percentage is a way to write a number with respect to a fraction of 100. Okay, so if you have 5 percentage, this means that you will have 5 over divided by 100. Okay, the reason these percentages are used, they most of the time given to you as in the terms of probabilities or in order to understand what type of chance that you have to win. So if I say you 50 percentage of the time you win, you know that maybe... Every time that you try, you either lose or win with a with an equal rate. So maybe you try to win 10 times, you are probably going to win around 5 times. This is what 50 percentage is all about. Either win or you lose. What happens if you lose with 100 percentage? You know that this is 1. This will always happen. So you always lose in this case scenario if you are losing with 100 percentage. Okay? This is the way that you can simplify and analyze data in a much easier way without saying like, you know, every 5 of the second chance and stuff. You can just say in, in percentages. You can say you have an accuracy of, for instance, 94 percentage when it comes to solving your mathematics exams. Yeah? And then we know that you will get around 94 divided by 100 in this case scenario but let's say like your result is not 100 here but well, it is not the maximum is 100 here let's say like it is 70 then all you need to do is that you need to multiply 90, 94 divided by 100 multiplied by 70 simple as that then you will convert to them let's just do it together if we can approach to it here as well let's just open our calculator you know that in the 70 case scenario you're just gonna say 70 multiplied by 0 0.94 boom you got 65.8 that's the way that you can convert them, okay? So let's just look at some examples here together with you. I want you to convert a percentage to a decimal value, yeah? And I want you to say a percentage of 50 percentage. I want to give it to us, I want you to give me to us as decimal value. How can you approach to here here? We know that percentages means write them in a fraction of 100, yeah? So you have 500 sorry 50 divided by 100 yeah this would be what 5 over 10 this will also be equal to 1 over 2 so you can say 0 0.5 okay 50 percentage is 0 0.5 when it comes to its decimal value okay let's go to our second question here which is going to be 0 0.75 percentage okay i want you to say it again it's 0 0.75 not 75 Okay, that's the most important thing. If this by 75 percentage, you know that this would be directly 0 0.75 because it was 50 became 0 0.5, 75 must be 0 0.75. Okay, this is the way that we are going. But this is 0 0.075. So you must multiply this by 0 0.01 because, you know, the dot moved two to the right. That's why. Okay, now let's just look into a different one and I want you to say me what would be the number if it was 3 divided by 4. Okay, 3 divided by 4. I want you to convert them into a, this into a percentage from fractions, from a decimal. You know that 3 divided by 4 is basically what? Multiply this by 25, okay, so it will be 75 divided by 100 which is 75 percentage okay that is right this is the same question as in a different man okay let's just go to our last one and in this one i want you to find out the percentage of for instance 0 0.5 yeah we we know that we can write this as basically 50 percentage yeah i want you to do the same thing for 0 0.9 how can you convert to a, a percentage? You can say this is going to be equal to 90 percentage. Okay. That's the way that you can write them. 
This is excellent. Now I want you to go through about some use cases of percentages. They are not just given to you as convert them to a fraction, convert to this, convert to that. No, they are not going to be asking in that manner. They are generally asked in type of questions where you need to find, for instance, I want you to find out how much money that you will have if you have 50 pounds, okay, and you had an interest rate of 20 percentage, okay, with interest okay yeah, with interest rate of 20 percent that's the type of the questions that you will come up with let's just solve some questions like that shall we so we're gonna find out 50 percentage uh, 50 pounds with the interest rate of 20 percentage this means that your 50 pound at the end of the day will be become one 1.2 times bigger than your 50 why because if you have 100 and if you have an interest rate of 20 percentage, this means that you will have 20 as addition. And then you will have 120. But we know that when it comes to it, you know, uh, percentages, it must be written in a way of fraction of hundreds. Okay, divided by 100. So you must have 1.2 more, basically, compared to 50. So you just multiply 50 by 1.2, which is going to be equal to 60. Okay, this is where the percentage, com you know, percentage questions are always coming up with you. Let's just solve some questions, shall we? Some questions on this as well. I want you to find out 25 percentage of 120. How can you approach that? You know that 25 percentage can be written as 25 divided by 100, which is also equal to 1 over 4. Okay. And then you're going to have 120. So in order to find out 25 percentage of 120, you just need to multiply 1 over 4 by 120, which will be 30. Okay, that's the way of going forward. Let's look for another price. We know that if a shirt originally cost 40 pounds, okay, 40 pounds, oops, it became E, not pound signal. Yeah, 40 pounds. Now it is on sale for 30 percentage of how can you find the value here what you're going to do is that if a, if a device is 30 30 percentage of which in which in our case a shirt is 30 percentage of you must find the remaining value of 70 percentage yeah if 100 percentage is equal to 40 you know that 10 percentage is equal to 4 in order to find it 7 per 70 percentage of it, you just need to multiply this by 7, which is 28. Okay, you can approach in that manner as well. Let's look into our one of our one of more examples that, uh, that we have. If we have 50 students in a class, okay. Oops. In a class. We know that 15 of them are female. Okay. Can you tell me the percentage of female here to this rule? It is going to be 15 divided by 50. Yeah? This is going to be 5. Sorry for that. And then how we can convert to a percentage here? We know that percentage is written as, as the fraction of 100. Just multiply this by 2, both of them. You will have 30 divided by 100, which is 30 percentage of the class are female. This means that the last 70 percentage must be male. Okay, because there is no other number that you can make it up to. Excellent. Let's just look into a price change of a book. If my book used to cost 20 pounds and I mark it as 25 pounds, how much does the money that I am increasing here? You can say, okay, you know what? Let's just figure out what five pound is because this is the difference between them. Five pound increased. Yeah, you are right. And five pound versus 25, basically 20 not 25, because we are not trying to look at the end of the result. We are trying to look with respect to the start of it in this question. You would realize that this is equal to 25 percentage of increase. So that's the whole idea. When you are trying to look into a values of percentages, you must first of all know that how you can write them as a fraction versus the percentages. This is because percentages questions are never asked you directly as a percentage, but they ask you in a, in a, in, in a in direct way. Of saying like, what is the 25 percentage of 120? And as long as you know how to convert them between these values, you can just easily multiply them and then f and then figure it out. And then, you know, I hope that this lesson is helping you a lot when it comes to, you know, practicing your skills. In the future, I will be having some 
the other topics that I'm gonna cover with GCSE as well. And then, you know, at the end of the topics, we will be solving some exam questions after I finish all of the GCSE questions. And then, you know, you can be able to watch them as well. Uh, so in this case, you just need to, you know, tune on and then, you know, we will be doing these videos for like uh, for the upcoming future. And I have so many content planned for it. So, you know, I hope that you're enjoying it. And then, you know, if you want to have any, you know, private lessons, I like as I mentioned you before, my details are in the uh, description down below. And then also, if you want to have, you know, uh, any questions or you have any suggestions, please leave them into, you know, the comments and I will reply to you as soon as possible. And then also, just before we leave, if you like my lesson, you know, hit that subscribe button and then hit that um, hit that notification bell, and then I will see you in our next one. So yeah, take care, my fellow students. Have a great day. Take care.